What's up? You're watching RideBMX.com. We're here in Baltimore, Maryland for the first stop of this year's AST Dew Tour. This weekend, we're going to be bringing you live updates, including results, videos, and photos. Right now, we're going to go do some interviews with the riders. We're here with ah, Ryan no, Nyquist. We're, <laughs> we're standing here with Ryan Nyquist. And Ryan, how do you feel about this year's course with the two step downs down here? Uh, it's a little bit gnarlier than what we're used to, but uh, I think that's good. It's going to challenge a lot of people, uh, including myself. and. I don't know, we'll see what happens. The wind's the main factor, though. I think the course could be whatever, but this wind's like just killing everybody. So uh, we're hoping it kind of dies down, at least for practice and definitely for the competition. Well, you won the overall competition last year. How do you feel about the uh, cont contestants this year? Just got in the bag. These guys suck. These guys suck. So lame. I'm just the best, most awesomest guy, pretty much in the world. So like, and I'm sure you knew that. So. So Big Daddy, you've been killing every contest all year. You get to do tour, and what happened? Um, choked on the pressure, came out here like a freaking animal house and just tried doing everything I could possibly do. I mean, I pretty much just came here to clean the floors out, you know. I fell a lot, I trained hard and uh, blew it, friggin' blew it. So how do you feel about not making it? Are you angry? Oh, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm upset. My co I just lost a family member this weekend, my cousin, 21 years old. I came out here to just try to do, you know, everything and just, you know, think about him. And he's probably looking down at me like, this kid's a freaking nut. Because all I did was fall. But you know what? As long as I give it my all for whatever I'm doing, I feel like I filled my part in, you know. I didn't even place last, but at least I know I animal house myself. Yeah, I should listen to my old man. He told me to be a, he told me to stay in a freaking football circuit and I wanted to do BMX and, uh, Whatever, I just kind of incorporate both of them, you know, when I'm, if I do bad in my run, I'll kick, just so I remembered it, you know, when I was good at football and all that. I was just talking to Nyquist up um, in the tower, and uh, he said that he bagged this contest. It's his. What do you think? Yeah, it, it is Nyquist's contest. Freaking guys had a lot of balls. I mean, he came to my house. He had to, it wasn't even a contest at my house. It was a nice riding session, mellow and all that. He came over, freaking swam in the pool, drank all the freaking drinks, ate all the hot dogs, did all the tricks in the whole yard. I'm not having that night quench. I'm not. Before we get underway with Standing here with Charlie Bowers, a.k.a. Monkey, from Ridgeway, Pennsylvania. Charlie, you made the uh, open qualifiers uh, last night. Is this your first year? Uh, yeah, this is my first year riding dirt. Uh, I was really stoked on making final or making prelims and stuff because, like, I don't ride these. I don't... Nothing's this size by my house. And then, like, I did shows for DK and the box jumps, and going from this is outrageous. Do you feel intimidated riding against big names like uh, Nyquist, uh, Bowen, Nasty? Um, I, I, I kind of do, but in the same aspect, like it's fun because like uh, I've looked up to him for years now, and then getting to ride with them and like them doing big tricks makes me want to do big things. Like I don't know, it just gets out there riding with them. It's fun. Standing here with Augie Simon Cini is a first year qualifier for Dew Tour. So Augie, how do you feel about entering Dew Tour this year with all these crazy tricks going on? I think it's fun to watch. So you know, as, more than a competitor, you're a spectator, and it's good to see like kids pushing the sport and you know seeing different different stunts and sweetness. Stunts and sweetness. I like that. So I heard that you met somebody, something that had to do with Superman's last night. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Yesterday over on the vert ramp, I uh, met the dude that invented the Superman like 20 years ago, and like I don't know, the Supermans are definitely my favorite trick. So it's like just it was like the biggest. Like I was like a little kid in a candy store. Like or my first time at Disney World. It was it was amazing. Are we gonna be seeing any Supermans in park this year? Oh hell! You? Oh hell yeah! Superman's the hell best yeah. trick out there. There's no no other trick that compares to the feeling of doing a Superman. All right, so I'm just gonna ask you: Can I see a profile of you? Because I'm very amazed by this sweet, sweet haircut. Who gave you this, and what inspired it? This is a self-fabricated haircut. Um, Nasty would like to take the honors of saying he inspired it, but it's East Coast, West Coast. He's just hating because he ain't on the East Coast no more. Standing here with Jamie Bestwick today, and he was the overall overall qualify. I mean, winner last year of the vert. So, Jamie, do you feel like you have to ride really hard this year, or taking it easy? <laughs> um, yeah, judging by qualifying, I've got to ride real hard. So, uh, 
It's going to be interesting tomorrow night. I think the first two stops, because they're outside, are always uh, a little bit against the riders because of the uh, the weather. But uh, it's it's going to be crazy tomorrow night. It's going to go off. A lot of big tricks are going to come out, and I've got to uh, you know step up my game this year if I want to keep that Duke up. Have you seen um, any kids coming up, up and coming kids? They're a little bit intimidating now in the open qualifiers. Yeah, you know, you got, uh, I mean, Zach Warden, my good friend and uh, veggie diesel owner, he, uh, he killed it out there today. I don't quite know what he was thinking about in his uh, second run. Took a bit of a slam, but uh, he's definitely one to watch. You know, the, uh, my friend Art Ambrosio too, another great rider. He put it together today. Unfortunately, didn't quite make the finals, but it's tough. You know, they're only taking seven people, so it's, uh, it's a lot on the line. You know, you got to ride your best in qualifying now just to make it through. Standing here with Steve McCain, the only rider at Dutour this year who's doing all three, is doing park, dirt, and vert. So, Steve, how do you manage to um, be at all the places at the same time, pretty much? Managing to be at all the places at one time, it's a tough deal. I just came from dirt, crashed, and I knocked myself out. Luckily, I didn't have to ride vert qualifying because I made top three from last year. And uh, here I am standing here talking to you. My head's a little bit sore and feel good to be awake. <laughs> Alright, so where do you live now? You live at Woodward, right? Yeah, yeah, I live out of Woodward at the moment and um, you know, Jamie and all those guys live out there too and it's just, uh, we have a pretty good scene out there for the vert scene and um, you know, I think it's, uh, I think it shows in my riding the fact that I ride with uh, people like Kevin and you know, Jamie and Zach and Chad and all those guys, you know, and it's just, uh, it's cool to have such a, such a good uh, family of people around you. Absolutely. I know that the uh, park warm-up's going on right now. Have you been seeing any kids uh, in open qualifiers that you think are going to be uh, to watch out for? Open qualifier kids? Man, there's so many open qualified kids, it's not even funny. Uh, there's a bunch of Australian guys that I don't know if they made it in because I was running around going to qualifying and stuff like that. Wow, that guy's got two thumbs up right now. <laughs> um, no, there's a bunch of uh, Aussie kids who are doing really well this week. They were at Woodward last week and uh, I'm not sure if they made the finals, but yeah, I mean, there's just so many shredders these days and I'm so stoked to see all the new talent coming through. and. I don't know, you just have to wait and see if they make it into the qualifying and, and if they can make finals or not. Alright, well thank you so much and uh, good luck in all three. Thank you. I'm going to need it. Hopefully tomorrow I can do everything that I've uh, been working on for the year. But if not, I um, guess I might need to ride to the hospital. <laughs> I hope you don't end up oh, in the hospital. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs>